Hello again everyone. Right, this afternoon we're going to be making pizza. Homemade pizza. Um, it's really simple and really quick to do. The main problem people have when they make pizzas is the, the dough, the bread, and uh, having the time to make it. But I've been working on this and I've come up with a flatbread that you can that will work as a pizza and you can make it from base ingredients to on a plate in 12 minutes, or at least I could. I mean, I'm not saying you should aim for 12 minutes, but it really is that simple because it's not got any yeast in it. So it's, um, so it's basically a case of quickly banging it through the oven after being in the pan and it's done, you know, 12 minutes. Right, we're going to start with self-raising flour, okay? 100 grams. So we've got 100 grams of self-raising flour. To which I'm going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. It just gives it a little bit more. Natural yogurt, Greek yogurt. So we add 100 grams of flour, I'm going to add about 100 grams of this as well. Obviously this is the liquid in our, in our dough. Job done. And uh, a grind of salt. You'd be surprised how much salt goes in bread actually. There you go, a grind of salt as well. Right. I shall light this pan because we're going to toast the bread to start with. Okay, right, so I've got ingredients here and I'm just going to incorporate them in together like this. This will be enough for two, probably six inch pizzas. And it's all coming together now. That's pretty much There. Right. I have to wind that back. I said two six inch pizzas. What I meant was one six inch pizza. Okay, a little bit of flour down on the on the worktop. And we're just gonna Roll it into a round. And that is the base. So I'm going to put it in there for about 45 seconds to a minute each side. I'm just going to quickly wash my hands. Right, and I'm back. So, as I say, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, 45 seconds to a minute each side. Right, tomato sauce. So I've got some garlic. So we just want a little bit of garlic. You can use the um, dried garlic granules. They're perfectly uh, acceptable. You're probably gonna need about half a clove. So you can use the, the side of your knife and just crush it down to a paste. With a bit of salt, it helps to um, mash it down to a pulp. Um, I haven't, but that's it, just a bit of garlic. And this is just a straightforward pizza sauce. Oregano, I've got oregano here, you can use mixed herbs. Um, if you've got fresh in the garden, even better, but, <laughs> but it's not essential. And a good lug, probably a tablespoon of tomato puree into there. Okay, and that's that. I'm just going to check the bread now. Let's go over and check the bread. Yes, that f you can feel it. You can't feel it, but I, it's fluffing. So I shall just get a, a slice so that I can turn it over. So 
So there you go, as you can see, we're kind of cooking the base already. Now to my tomato mix, I'm gonna add a splash of water. I just wanna let it down a bit. Okay, so that was probably about 15, 20 mil. It just loosens it up a bit. Makes it easier to spread onto the pizza. Oh, and also I've got the, pe the, the oven heated to 230 degrees. Very hot oven. But, you know, time is uh, of the essence here. So, there you go. Base is done. So I shall uh, put it down there. Turn it over actually, let's do it on that side. There you go. So the base is not quite cooked yet, but it's also not far off. So, what we don't want, which is why we've got the oven so hot, we don't want it to dry out. So, there's our base, ready to go. Cheddar cheese, because let's be honest, that's what's normally to hand in your, in your, in your fridge, is cheddar cheese. You can put mozzarella on, you can do whatever you like, it's your pizza. Um, I would put fresh tomatoes on this, but the person who this is intended for would think I'm trying to poison her if I gave her fresh tomatoes. So, And also remember that you don't want to put too much on, too much of any topping. If you pile on toppings, it never cooks as well. So, that is that. Ready to go in the oven. Goes in for six minutes. Okay, 2.20, 2.30. This is on 2.30. Six, six minutes. And that'll be done. See you in six minutes. Right, six minutes have passed. Now it's time for the big reveal. There you go. Let's move it up onto there. Okay, let's back up a little bit, Xanthi. Thank you very much. Right then. Over we go. And we'll uh, cut it into wedges. Let's have a look, see what it's like. Beautiful. There you go. It's all, it's all cooked through. The base is still soft. So that, you know, you're not eating a, a crumb, a biscuit with uh, with your topping. And I know one child's going to be very happy because they're going to get to eat that right away and the other two are going to have to wait. Um, right, there you go. Cheese and tomato pizza. Buon appetito!